I love him and Graham so fucking much. I just need to him to say that one part. Mm -hmm. Welcome to another episode of Pillow Cat. Was she vibing? She was just standing there. I think. I think she was just like, ooh, left and right, vibing. Maybe, it could be. Anyway, let's talk about how much I love... Wait, did we introduce ourselves? No, you can do it for us if you want. Damn it, you can do it for us if you want. Okay. My name is Andres. This is my wife, Nani. And we this are still is playing. the ghost of Christmas past. We are still playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. Also, I want to say how butthurt I am that my dog hit one of my slippers. And mm. I've been wearing my janky ass ones. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I wish I had my comfortable slippers. Bitches. <laughs> Which I need to get new loafers. Because they're comfortable. Anyway, coming back to what I was saying. People will never understand how much I love Lemon Grab. I love how screechy he is. I love how ridiculous he is. I love how every time he shows up, it's just going to be pure nonsense and you know it. Love him. I love I, him. I loved him to a point, but no. at one, a, 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 a certain point, I was like, bro, they have to kill something with this character. Like, come on I love something. him. And the more insane he went, the more I loved him. My God. Then he went insane in that show. I, I, I watched it till the end and I was like, bro, what the hell? I love him. I think he was perfect. Also, having a dog that likes hiding little bits and pieces of toys in your shoes is not a dream come true. No, it is not. I, I put my foot inside one of my loafers. My lord, I found a treasure trove of just bits and pieces of crap. Yep. Not a li literal crap, just shit. Oh, wait, not literal shit. Artemis! Doggo! She's trying to play in between our legs. Oh, oh! Yeah, and pulling all the cables. Look at that. She's doing her best. So she likes destroying like big toys and then getting like little nubs of it and playing around with it and just throwing it up in the air, throwing it around her. Like this is just like we buy like $30 worth of toys for you to make them indestructible and you just like the little pieces that are just around. I had to buy her like, oh, yikes. I didn't think it was that high of a jump. Where is the chance when you need her? Oh my god, I threw the wrong thing again. It's fine. Do you even know how to Pokemon? Uh, I try. Sometimes I'm not entirely sure. My dream is to take this whole tub of like snackies and mm -hmm. put her face up to it. No. And have her eat like a horse. Eat. Oh my god, no. That's a I think she would idea. love that. Of course she would love that. And I would love that. You need to behave or else you get no snackies. Daddy said so. Mmm, daddy. Oh my god. I knew you were going to do something with What? Me. What? Don't I like it? What? What, what did I do? About? What did I do? Oh my god, is the alpha barrel gonna be around here again? Or? Didn't we recatch it? Yeah, but they can respawn. They keep respawning. Why would they respond? I haven't sent a text. <sighs> You're ignoring. <laughs> you can't stop me. There it is. No, that's a normal one. That does not look normal. That's a big one. No, that's a normal one. That's a normal with barrel. You cannot stop me! Hey, look how huge it is. Look at little baby. Just yank it up in the sky. Ah! <laughs> Chuck it into the water. Ah! I didn't catch it. And then you're like, swim, bitch! <laughs> swim, bitch! <laughs> I'm a good person. I swear to God. It doesn't, I don't always sound like I am, but I swear I am a good human. Fight me! I have not drank water today. Ooh, it's raining. Yeah, it's already raining. I'm telling you, like, this, this game has all the weathers. Does it have all the way? Hey, dude, I'm right behind you. <laughs> you can grab his booty from here. Okay. Imagine if Geodode had uh, booty cheeks. How he does have booty cheeks. No, but you can see him like well-defined, mm. ass-crack, booty cheeks, dummy thick. Oh, my God. I thought you hated the, the I do. I hate saying it, but if I say dummy thick, people instantly get an image in their head, and they're mm. like, oh, my God. Wow, okay. <laughs> I it's hate hypocrisy, it. Hypocrisy, huh? Hey, man, it's like saying moist. People instantly get an image of it. Okay. I don't care for the word. It means nothing to uh, me. Oh, it's a badass! 
Paras are so aggressive in this game. There's so many memes about Paras, too. That is just hilarious. Tell him you come in peace. Oh! Yikes. You thought you were going to catch me, huh? <laughs> he said the same thing to you. Yeah. You thought you were going to catch me, huh? Yeah. Oh, my God. Paras are the worst. Try to catch me slack lacking. dead one time the dog and i were playing hide and seek and the fuck is that i've never seen that before don't you have space no i'm full you see oh I'm trying to see if i can craft stuff so i can get rid of things anyway point is um uh, yeah. we were playing hide and seek i think i told you the story mm. and uh I, remember. I the dog found me and we got so excited First, she got scared because I was like, you did it. And then I gave her a snack and she got so excited, she choked on it. And she was like, ah, ah. and I'm like, no, don't die. And then she throws it up on the carpet. Mm. And before I can clean it, she eats it up. And I'm like, huh. Hey. Same day, <laughs> drop off and pick up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> we're finding two parasites. You can see on the top. I can, yikes, it's like finding cockroaches in the dark. Yep. You can hear they're out there. What type of cockroaches are you finding out You've there? You've never heard of cockroaches run across the no. floor or even, what? No, they must be. Oh my God. They must be some gigantic ass Oh man, cockroaches. no, no. Like when you live out in the, like in the middle of nowhere in a farm, you can hear the, you can hear the fucking critters going around. Never have. I mean, I've never lived in the farm. It sounds so. like. Or like, and you're like, ah, they're coming. I mean, like I said, I've never lived in the farm. So. I did. Or when they start flying. Oh, uh -huh. man. that I've never felt like I would pass out. But every time I see a cockroach fly, I feel like my nervous system just shuts down. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> my best friend always had, like, so many stories about him finding cockroaches in his house. And they always flying away. And, he, and it was always the most hilarious stuff. Every single... Fucking time. Oh, I caught another cricket tune. There was this one time. I'm trying to go up there, oh, buddy, and I can't. Facebook. <gasps> Whoa, oh, no! Ali, I found, <laughs> I found the alpha cricket tune. He's like, I found you. <laughs> and I guess he didn't care because he didn't, you know, like, didn't attack me or anything. Ali, I caught it. It was level 30, by the way. Anyway. So there was no way we were going to beat it if we, he wanted to battle us. He was just tired. <laughs> I guess. Um, we we caught it without being spotted. How even? Mm, maybe he was blind. Mm. Point is, we were. Uh, I mm. when Facebook was started out being a thing. I remember I was young and and I was in my room. It was like twelve in the morning, mm. and I was supposed to go to bed early, but life happens, and I didn't. And they see a cockroach, and I remember I'm talking to somebody else on the Facebook. Oh my god! Yikes! Is that an Alfie Pokemon? That's an Alpha Staravia. Oh, it's an Alfie Pokemon. Catch it. Catch. I'm trying that thing. Be very, very quiet. No, no begging. Don't do that. You're cute. Stop it. Be very, very quiet. And then... I'm trying. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think oh I can't catch it. It's too strong. You see? The X. Oh, uh, can you fight 32. it? No! You are dumb as bricks. We gotta run. No, it's too strong. Like my strong, the strongest Pokemon is level you. twenty. It has sported you. What I about know. your, what what about the Alpha Pokemon you just caught that's level thirty? I have to go to talk to someone to be able to grab it and switch the Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah. People don't fall. I came up here because there was an Abra and I was trying to catch it, but the Abra disappeared. So whatever. Eek. Anyway, I was coming back to it. Anyway, uh -huh. there was this uh, cockroach, right? Yes. And then... I forgot what we were talking about. And Facebook. when you started talking about this story, I was like, what is she? What are we, what are we going about with this story? Well, you never let me finish your sentence, so... Mm. 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 <gasps> wait, 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 I, I told you guys. There's a camp. Right. Anyway, point is, this fucking cockroach is just takes flight out of fucking nowhere. So I spend from 12 a.m. 
to 2.30 a.m. trying mm. to track this bitch down. All the while, because I was young and I thought people actually gave a shit about what I was thinking. I posted it on Facebook, said, uh, just saw a cockroach, was about to kill it, go to bed, bitch ass starts flying, help. Uh-huh. And then I, I kid you not, there was like 50 responses back to back. Like people just saying, oh man, you fucked. And I'm like, please pray for me. I'm trying. It's like, okay, update. Like me having these conversations with all these different strangers I had mm. on Facebook at the time. Like it was over a hundred by the time we were done. My dad wakes up the next morning and my I have my dad on my Facebook. And he just opens my door. It was like, I don't know, noon at this point. He's mm. like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like, first of all, I don't think you should be asking that. You're my father. Secondly... Why am I being judged? And he started reading every single one of the comments. And he's mm. like, I think that was the closest he was to just like, I'm going to turn off the internet and you're never having internet ever again. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. I had, he's like, he's just in his mind and in his little boomer mind. He couldn't conceptualize. Why would people give a shit about a flying cockroach? Mm. And, and he, and then at the end, after he's done lecturing me, he's like, so what happened to the cockroach? I was like, I don't fucking know. I never found it. I just passed out. I was tired. I thought, fuck it. If it crawls into my mouth, it crawls into my mouth. Has one ever crawled into your mouth? Let me tell you this great story. Oh, my God. <laughs> I Again. am very invested in these stories, so I'm very quiet because I don't want to interrupt <laughs> anything. But I'm like, what the hell is happening? Okay, there? okay, my dudes. So, again, I live in the middle of nowhere. I grew up in a farm, blah, 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 blah. So, um... <clears throat> Oh, I got two cockroach stories. Mm. So when I was I was asleep, right? And I oh actually I have three stories. I was asleep and then I'm just like moving around and I can just cannot mm. like get to sleep. And then I fall like I'm I'm dead sleep and I feel something touch my lips. Mm. And I feel like it's wiggling around my lips. Mm. And I just shove it against like away from my mouth and I get up. It was a dead, it was a cockroach that had mm. fallen from the ceiling wow. onto my mouth. Ooh. And I, it was one of those few times my mouth was closed because I'm a mouth breather and I sleep with my Ooh, mouth open. I 27. So there was that story. Follow-up story to another... This this is the in-between story. Mm-hmm. So I think I've told the story to a lot of people. So uh, we have centipedes in the farm. Like big ones. Like yeah. big, ugly red I ones. all those cricket tots on. I thought I already had the thing. The and thing. then if you've ever tangled with a uh, centipede, those bitches are hard to kill because mm-hmm. like, they're, like their exoskeleton or whatever you want to call it is so hard. Like you yes. got to step on those bitches so many times. Anyway... Anyway, and if you've ever gotten bitten by one, ooh, it hurts. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it hurts. Anyway, my mom. Never have, but yeah. My mom was cleaning out. Uh, we have two bathrooms. She was cleaning out one of them. Mm. And she's just living her best life because she loves cleaning. And she's like, Nani, come here. And I'm like, God, fucking shit, damn it. What do you want, mom? Because I thought she was going to trick me into cleaning. And I hate cleaning the bathrooms. And then she just holds the door. She's it's like she's in between inside the bathroom, halfway out. And in the distance, I could hear, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? Mm. She opens the door and shows me a uh, centipede eating the dead body of a cockroach. Wow. Yeah, she's like mm, having his last meal. And my mom's evil as fuck. So she then she just kills it as it's eating. The cockroach, she's like, oh, wow. I was like, oh, my God. And then my other story. That's rough. Yes, I have these wild stories. And then the other story was that I was sleeping again in my in my bedroom. Mm. Duh. And then when I was single and happy. Oh. So. Oh. Oh. Ah, ah. Looking for trouble, huh? Ah, ah. Too bad's eyes, yeah. I'm not gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna try and finish this last episode for tonight with uh, the Cleveland thing. Anyway, show point is, mm-hmm. um, by I, the way, we uh, we're making some with the with Cleveland's favorite food, we're making like a type of ball to calm it down. That's what happened in that conversation. She is, right? did you hear her? She's whining, she's doing that because I'm not giving her snackies. God, I love her anyway. She's going to get really fat because of you. That's fine. No, she's not. Yes, she will. We only overeat snackies on the weekend. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm having, I'm sleeping. And when I used to sleep alone, I would have a lot of pillows because I like feeling like a little nest of pillows. Mm-hmm. 
And I have this dream that this big ass uh, centipede is gonna crawl out of one of my pillows and into my face. And I wake up scared. And in that moment, I get up, I turn on the light, and a huge ass centipede crawls out of one of my pillows. And I throw it on the floor and just, you know, obviously killed it. And I was like, how did I know? I don't know, but really quick, let me tell you my story. When I was taking, when I was house sitting for you, for your family, mm. I was just sitting in the living room the first night I'm just sitting there. <laughs> and I'm just like, wow, they live in the middle of nowhere. And they tell me that they get a lot of centipedes. I haven't seen centipedes or anything. How funny would it be if I find one? And I just literally said that. I, I don't know why. Look to the floor and a huge ass centipede is just walking in the middle of the living room. Yep. And I'm just like stepping on that bitch like. Ah, 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 and I'm like, oh my God, bro. Like, what yes, the hell? Yes, they are, they are impervious. Yeah. Especially if it's like the long skinny ones. It's like, okay, this one's going to take a while. But if it's like the mother one, like the mm. big thick one. Mm. Oh my God. You need a whole boot for that bitch. Whew. I remember one time I was doing sit-ups in my room mm. and I felt this extreme sharp pain mm. like on my back and I got up and I was like oh my god something is burning it was the tiniest it was like two inches long skinny centipede mm. and it made my half of my back go numb wow and I was like I'm gonna die my mom's uh suggestion was go wash it and put some vapor rub on it and wow I was like, Thanks, mommy. <laughs> you didn't have to go to hospital or nothing for that? No. If it had been bigger, yes. Oh, okay. Because my mom had to go to the hospital at one point. Yes. If they're like huge. A, like a shot. Yeah. yeah. She was like, it's going to be fine. We're just going to put some witch hazel on and then mm -hmm. just leave. Okay, so uh, I they gave me the flute, and with the flute, I can now call Weird Ear and ride him. Okay, I've made a choice. I think I do have a crush on Adamant. Yeah? I think he's a Leo. So he would make me angry because it's all about him. Okay. But at the same time, I'm going to be attracted to how sure he is about himself. Sure, baby. Whatever makes you, you know. And I love it. Whatever makes your pee-pee go boom, boom, A lot boom. of things, actually. Okay. Especially Rule 34 about Bruno. Mm. And look at that. I can jump. Don't forget, kids. Jumping. Imagine if you jump and you cr you crush one of the tiny ones. Ah, Pokemon's on the bottom. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. What, mommy? Why? And then the mom is like, oh, my God, Billy. The doctor, the professor pulls you in. We need to have a conversation about your use of weird ear. And you're like, what? And weird ear is like, hooves are covered in blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, what's wrong? Well, it's come to our attention that you keep jumping purposefully on other weaker <gasps> Pokemon. <gasps> ¿Qué pasó? I forgot that there's an Alpha Paraxy right here, and I was literally about to jump on top of it. And I'm like, bro. See what I was telling you and guys? And a shit ton of Paras. Yikes. Ah! There's a shit ton of Paras, and the Paras here, they start ganging up on you if you're not careful. So I gotta, I gotta do this quick. Shit. Yikes! You're stupid. It's you, Tommy. You are not very smart. Let me see something real quick. Get down. What level? Look at him go! <laughs> yep. Diggle, 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 diggle. It's too strong, and I can't catch it. How strong is it? Level thirty. And my strongest Pokemon's level twenty. Aww. Do I have other? <gasps> I need you. Do I have other? Mm. I'm trying to think. Do I have other cockroach stories? I have no idea, but fascinating, I have to say. I am not kidding when I say that. Uh, it, they sound very fascinating to me. I'm sorry that my uh, upbringing... It's just kind of funny how, you know, these things happen. Mm -mm -mm. Well, let me get ready, because I know for a fact the alphabet barrel should be there again. There it is. Yep. Why are you going to catch it again? I'm going to fight it. Because I already caught one. I want to fight it because it levels up. So let me tell you this other story it's, about... Gives you a lot of experience point when you battle the alpha Pokemon. About sheep. People think... He has icy wind? Yikes! How? That's not even fair. So, uh, people think sheep are just very cute, soft animals. Mm. But when sheep are all together, they tend to be... Sheepish? creepy 
because if they're just living their best life and roaming around, mm. you know, they have no natural predators, so they're not scared. But if you're in their area, they will become anxious that you're there. Mm. At least that's my experience with sheep. And 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 we didn't have sheep, we, but one of the nearby farms, sometimes the farmer would leave. Mm. So he would ask my grandfather if he could leave his sheep, his flock of sheep in our land for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which was fine because it was like less than 20, mm. like less than 10 maybe. I don't know. I was young. There was a lot. And them fuckers, if they if they knew that I was around and it was just me, they would all just gang up on me, really? like in all corn. Like I felt like I was drowning in a sea of sheep, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like less than four feet at the time because I was a child. So they would just all flock. <laughs> oh, I did the wrong thing again. They would just get all close to me. Okay, and I'd be like, oh my god, are they going to try to eat me? And they don't do anything. They just kind of like crowd you and freak you out. Mm -hmm. But if you have rams yeah. in the mix, those will get slowly closer to you. Yeah, they get aggressive. And then if they see that you're doing sudden movements, they'll go after you. They're like, you're gone. Fuck that bitch. And you're like, how? That's funny, though. That is not funny. There was this one time... Get, I, ready. Get my point already, because I'm going to have to fight this girl it's pretty soon. There was this one time where I... Yikes. Oh. Okay, so I could fight me, and then you just run past them. <laughs> nope. Ah! I don't fight kids. Anyway. What? You got the food away, bro. He's a cowboy, and I'm talking like he's a surfer. His name like, is... No way, bro. Liam. <laughs> Liam, I thought it was Liam. Where is this bitch coming from? I don't know, but she does that a lot. Anyway. We got the plump beans. Are we good? My what beans? The plump beans. Mm -mm. You know what that means, Yummy. Dummy, dummy thick. Prove oh, that you can God. stand against the noble Pokemon. Battle me. Yeah, I will. Bitch, I'm trying to help you. Why are we battling? They do that a lot. But she has a Glaceon, though. Anyway, um, so I used to be at this little... Yo, fire horse! I used to be this little church camp thing, right? Mm. And we were at the cottages. Blame like, you. like there's some cottages you could stay at. And as a little kid, you know, I stayed in the really nice ones because my dad's a pastor. So we got to sleep in one of the good ones. Mm. And, but we were on a second floor. It was a second. Yikes. I know. I'm like, bro, how? Like, she attacked twice. That's not fair. It's like, this is a second floor on, on this. Mm. Like, there are stairs to get to this one part like wow. this right yeah. and then at this time during this church camp for some reason there were sheep and rams all around and i wow. think it was a, one of the farmers in the area mm. they didn't like do a good job at kind of keeping them mm -hmm. in their area but we didn't care because it's like no you know it's an enclosed community it's mm -hmm. safe in here mm -hmm. it's out in the mountains in the middle of nowhere it's fine mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. One of those fucking rams ran up the stairs and was waiting for me at the door. And the thing was, it was just me in the second floor. Wow. And I remember because they were in the Oops. middle of worship and I refused to go because mm. I didn't want to go. I didn't give a shit. I was like seven, maybe nine. And I was too busy playing my Game Boy, playing my little Kirby game. And I just wanted to lay on the couch and do that. And then I look up, and then the Rams looking at me, and I'm like, "By the way, the Cleaver's gonna show up right now." Oh, I'm gonna see. So him. we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start this, the first boss battle of the game. Dun 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 dun. Anyway, point is, there I almost is. shit my pants. And what I decided to do so I wouldn't make it mad mm. was I made sure that the door, like the little, it was like a little uh, screen door. That it was locked because I never locked it. Yeah. And if, but it was one of those shitty ones that Lord if you pushed, the words, Cleaver. if you pushed it hard enough, it would just mm. cave in on itself. Mm. I locked it and then I closed the main door mm. just in case I was scared out of my mind and I hid in one of the rooms and I was like, it can't Ooh. touch me. It can't touch me. So close. Ah. And then my dad got mad because I locked both doors. And he was like, if I didn't have the keys, I would never been able to get in. What were you doing? Did you blah, blah? And I couldn't explain to him. A fucking ram ran up the stairs to come at me. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm, even at that age, I was like, I'm going to stop fucking inside. Okay. 
So I never said anything. I just took the heat from him, and that was it. I was like, God damn. damn. Okay, so this is the battle. We have to throw these things to quell them, you know, or make them nice and calm uh, and avoid their attacks. This is basically it. This is how the battles go. Basically. I'm so excited about this. And then when they stuff like that happen, hit him. I throw the Pokemon. We can have a little battle, and I have to stun him. And if when I stun him, when I throw the things up, what were you saying about stunning idea. him? When I stun him, Yikes. I can then throw the balls at him, and you know, calm him up. Quickly, or I guess. Quicker? I just threw, yeah, I just threw the wrong Pokemon. That's what happened here. He's bug and rock, so flying. Shh, no! Yikes. Bug and rock. I mean, yeah, but what about the rock? Water. Okay. Guys, I'm playing this all wrong. Yeah, because I can tell. I I'm here killing it with my stories. Doggo, no more snacks. Even though it's only five calories per snack, I'm probably giving you a hundred calories right now. Probably. But it's delicious. Give me kisses. Give me kisses, damn it. I demand your kisses. <laughs> I love when I say that. She just walks away like, nope. Yep. Oh this is God. the only dog I've ever met who has set boundaries with me. I most, don't know. I don't see no boundaries with this dog. Um... When I try to kiss her and she doesn't want to, she'll just turn away from me. Mm. I'm like, ah, excuse me. And then when she's like overstimulated and I try to pet her, she barks at me like, no, enough. Mm, like none of my dogs have ever done that. None of them. She never does that to me. There you go. Now he's stunned so I can, and they make more, they, they have more effect. Yeah, but you have to also think about how your relationship with a dog is very different than mine. Of course. Like, I'm very hands-on with the dog. She and I rough house all the time. And I'm always touching her, holding her, mm. running around with her. She, and she, sometimes she's just like, I can't, Mom. And just stop. Just fucking stop. She's my little teenager. Ugh, why I'm is this... done with this battle. Why is he gold? Because a lightning struck him, and we don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out. Nobody really knows right now. Oh. Oh, couldn't just, I didn't dodge at time. Oh, I thought I was dead for a second. Yeah, I was like, damn. I was just thinking about this, that you were going to die exactly as we were going to do it. And I was like, no, guess not. And then what the fuck is wrong with you? You're a little too close, no, little boy. I, the, the, he, she just went that way, and I was trying to back up, but she didn't want to back up. Bro, you got to back up, man. This there is like us go. trying to play with the dog when she runs around in the tree. Basically, yeah. Ah! Doggo, come here. Now's the chance. Come here. Don't you dare. Come here. No, not that one. Water pulse. Oh, water pulse. Come here, girl. Wow, really? Come here, baby girl. It survived that? No, you did not. Come here. No, I mean, he, he survived that. Not, oh. not not Ray. Ray, it's fucked up. Ray's like, no, I'm not. Oh, the Pokemon. And he's just pissed off yep. at Yep. You want me to lift you up? I think you're tired, baby. Yeah. Agile yeah, style. She is. Throwing some gang signs up in there. I know. Why are you smelling my shirt? Cast that. Cast these hands, Cleavor. Mm. It's over. Yeah, there we go. I love kissing you. You we taste finished. like caramel. Do you guys say caramel? Oh, snap. Do you guys say caramel or caramel? I say car caramel. Do you say data or you, data? You, you, you made me think about it, too, for a while. I'm like, caramel, caramel? What, what do, do I say? really say? Do you say data or data? I've said both. Hey, baby, you're biting me. Uh-uh. Hey. Leveled up. No. Hey. No. Artemis, nope. Hey, look at me. No. No more. Enough. Uh-uh. That's, that's Cleavor no, in his no, normal form. No. It looks like a duck. It's not a duck. No. Duck. No biting. Thank you. We got the insect, but and now he's like, thank you. Now I uh -uh. must take my leave. Hey, if you can't behave, you need to. Okay, I'm going to ban you from the sofa. I can't believe you did it. I know, right? He's just a girl. I mean, a what? That's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just narrating their stuff in a normal way, but they don't say that. I'm just being. I was like, know, what? Idiot. She's just a girl. That's Leon, and like, Leon, I'm a girl. 
But you're the leader, though. It was like, I'm still a girl. And he's, he's like, wait, you're a girl? Oh, uh, man. You were a Pokemon. And they're like, Leon. That's all I have here. Friends. My only friends are Pokemon. So I just assume everybody else is a Pokemon, too. Yeah. It's like, Leon. Yeah, we need to take it easy, boy. I apologize know. for you know I am Being always. I am. I was wrong. Yeah, you were, Leon. What did he give me? Three citrus berries. For which, my hard work, better yep. be money, bitch. Excuse me, I thought the same too, but who knows? Give me money. We did it. We did it. No, you see, my Next Can time, um, it? pillow cat. Maybe this, maybe something else. We got the stamp. You see the stamp for Cleveland because we that means that we You guys are Cleaver. so adorable. Thank you for listening to all my horrible stories. Thank you guys for being here. We love this game and we love you guys. I don't know if we love this game, but I would definitely say we love you guys. Follow us on Twitty I enjoyed this game so much. OG Pillow Cat, follow us. Bye. We love you. Bye. Bye.